A veteran from Grand Haven seemed to have his issues with unemployment solved, but due to ongoing financial strain, he says he was forced to give up his service dog. The story Fox 17 Problem Solvers brought you on Friday. Zach Herrick tonight has a look at the responses now pouring in. Army veteran Nick Myers has seen his email and Facebook blowing up with messages ever since we brought you his story on Friday. I've received probably close to 40 to 50 emails from people reaching out wanting to help. Myers, who served in Afghanistan, is diagnosed with PTSD and had to give up his service dog due to the financial hardships during this pandemic. We ran out of money. We were basically on our last like $50 and we had the house to pay for. I mean, we can't lose the house. You know, we got kids and stuff. His dog Zelda is a year and a half old and has been helping him cope with different stressors. Not to mention she has been a great friend to his young kids. I've never seen a dog really that is that friendly around kids and that was also trained to be a dog in the police force as well as a service dog. She's really well-rounded. After Friday's story aired, dozens of people called our station, took to Facebook and emailed asking how they could help Myers bring his dog home. The help has been such a, such a blessing, like I said. Um, people being able to reach out in the community, it feels good. To know that there's still really good people out there. Myers says it will take about $1,000 to get Zelda home, who is currently back with the breeder for the time being. However, thanks to the incredible people in the West Michigan community, they have officially met that goal. My message to the people that have helped out is my family and I thank you all very much for helping us, helping get Zelda back and helping us financially. It's uh, it, it made me speechless. Nick says Zelda should be back with his family within the next three days. He also added he will be sending everyone who helped him a personal card and a photo of his family. Zach Herrick, Fox 17 News. Hey, more good news after the original story aired. More good news. The state's Labor and Economic Development Department also unlocked Meyer's account. He is now waiting on five weeks of back pay from unemployment.